Hello everyone, this is Ajamu Jimmy and welcome back to Elden Ring. I hope you're having a nice day today. We're here in the Shifra River, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And before we kind of jump into this main area, there was uh, a score I needed to sell, settle back here with this crab. So I'm going to go do that. And maybe I'll take Torrent out. Let's see, that crab, he took my life. It was... Something I deserve, though, I will say. I will admit. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Got him. Yeah, he, he beat me up because I was beating up his buddies. So, totally understandable. But that's okay. That's how it goes. Now I beat him and I took his eggs. And uh, I know I must finish my job now. Oops. Well, that's great. Maybe I go uh, light for these guys. Yeah. Let me put some light on too. I can't see anything. Yeah, it's been a minute since I played, I think. I don't know when the last time I did play was, but... Uh, between then and now, there has been a huge uh, announcement, and that's that the Elden Ring DLC has been confirmed for uh, summer 2024. So, I was honestly a little bit of a relief for me because I really wanted to like have the whole game fresh in my mind, and I wasn't confident that I would be able to finish this. People were saying like it would be like next month, so I wasn't sure that I could finish it in that time, but I can definitely finish this game um, in time for June. And I'm actually hoping my goal right now is to get all the achievements. And so the only achievements I'm missing, I think there's three of them, is uh, one, it's the Elden Lord achievement, which you get for getting all of the other endings. So I've beaten all the bosses, I've got all of those achievements, but uh, yeah. I might do some New Game Plus if I finish this well before. Or I guess I definitely would because I'm trying to get all the achievements. Um, but this... This playthrough, I'm going to keep it at level 150. I think I'm going to cap that so that I could do some multiplayer stuff because I now know that uh, 150 is like the meta. So I'll do that. And I'll play the new game pluses on 150 as well. I think I won't level up. I did see that the Miyazaki had an interview, so I thought that was interesting. Do it, is my stuff? Oh, I don't have the map for this region. Okay. Yeah, he gave some, some more context for... Uh, the games. Let me let me get some of these bad boys. Oh, why am I keep stuttering? I think the streaming and recording at the same time is stressing my computer out a little bit. I wouldn't have thought that'd be so, but I guess it is. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I think at the end of the day I prioritize the video over the stream right now. I don't know if that's the right play, but that's the thing I've gained the most traction on so far, but that's, you know, arguably because that's the thing I've spent the most time on so far. So. I don't remember the, what the recommended level is for this. Oh, this crab wants some peace. You dead. You dead. There you go. So I don't know if there's a way to kill these things, these balls. You know, now that I see it, you can't even target them. Oh, oh. But they can target you. So I will. St oh, and then they go away. Ah, I see. Hey, well, what's this? Looky, looky. What have we here? Um, let's try it out. Yeah, let's travel. Let's go. Let's see where this takes us. I actually don't remember what this does, where this takes us. So we'll see.
It just takes me further up. Which I don't know that I really want to be here just yet, so maybe I'll just go back. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's just further up in the same area. Uh, we'll be able to see later, though. Maybe once I get the full map. Oh, but yeah, the DLC trailer was pretty sick, man. Pretty sick. It uh, showed off um, Mesmer the Impaler, which is apparently um, a secret child of Radagon and Merica. It has to be, because he's got the characteristics of Radagon, and he calls... He says mother, so I think... I think that's... Uh, oops. I'm so sorry, Torrent. You took the brunt of that. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, Mesmer the Impaler, and then um, Miyazaki also mentioned that the content of this DLC is not going to influence in any way the um, the single player or like the the main game. So you're not getting a separate ending or a special ending. It's just. You're getting a little more context, I guess, for what's going on in the lands between. And he did also mention that you have to have beaten Radon and... Who's the other guy? Moog. So I, I found that to be interesting. Um, let's see what these guys have to say. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are pretty tough, so... Mm. There we go. We got him. So uh, I'm still... I think I'm doing decent damage to them. We'll see. There is a variant of those guys that's like... He's got a machine gun. So that's going to be tough. Health back. Okay. Yeah, these guys are chumps. They did nothing to me. I'm not sure how long I could play today. I don't think I could play very long. I was hoping to get an hour out of it, but um, I have basketball this afternoon, and uh, I just got word that I gotta pick up my buddy. So it'll take a. I'll have to leave a little earlier than I was expecting to. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, spoilers. I guess I should have said a, put a little spoiler warning before I talked about all that stuff with the D DLC. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Even there's a bunch of YouTubers that are now making videos about the DLC and going in detail on it. And I think I'm going to stay away from it. I just want to go in as fresh as possible. The interview with Miyazaki is where I kind of like draw the line. You know, like that was that was the last bit. Because he does give some important context, I guess, for it. And, he, and there's things I was worried about that the way he said it, it was fine. Um, one thing he did mention is that like there's... He's going to have some sort of upgrade mechanic or level up mechanic that's going to be dis different than the main game stuff. Which is going to allow us to get more powerful specifically in the DLC areas and it's not going to impact the uh, the main game. So I thought that was, an, that was like a really smart decision because then um, if the bosses are too hard you can still level up. But you're not going to be taking yourself out of meta range. You know, that level 150 is the, is the range or the limit for meta. Oh. oh no. No torrent. I wonder what happens if I just use up all of these wisps. Ooh, that hurts.
This area is great for farming the, the beast bones. You need those. Okay, and um, I didn't mention it, but we're lighting these torches because... First of all, because we can. But second of all, because it is going to do something for us. And it's in here. It's going to activate um, a little thing that we can do. A map. Oh, okay. Nice. There we have the map. Lovely. Okay. So let's... I don't know if there's anything to fight in here. Probably not. Let's see. I'm so sorry. I feel so sorry, sorry for these little guys. Hollow Horn Grounds. Yeah, so we got a little, little something over here. It's a little squelchy. Yeah. And uh, I think you can see... Where is it? I think as we light the torches, it lights up these pyres up here. Yeah, yeah. Or the obelisks. I don't know what you want to call it. So we got two so far. So we see two and we need how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need six more. Wow, okay. But it is a relatively big area. So we'll see how much we can cover today. I don't think I'll be able to squeeze out two 30-minute sessions. But uh, like I said, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, there's this area. I forgot about this. I believe there's a new weapon somewhere. I don't think this is it. Oh, yeah? Okay, the hornbow. Let's see what that's about. This is the Red Branch Shortbow. Did I already look at this one? Shortbow of polished red wood fashioned by a master craftsman and wielded by pages. A bow which requires dexterity rather than strength to master. Oops, okay. And this is the hornbow. Longbow made from animal horn, wielded by the master hunters of the ancestral followers, imbues arrows fired with magic damage, reveals its true worth when used with magic infused arrows. Okay, cool. So there's a little something something to that. Very nice. And I believe we're getting magic infused arrows from those guys as, as they die. Oh, I never saw that before, I think. Ooh. Well, it's just money. That's fine. We like money. Oh, torrent, come on. Okay, so glad we uh, got that. There is a dude up here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe he's over there. I don't know. Oh! I don't know if that, I don't, I don't know if that showed up for you guys, but that was rough. Whoa, okay. No! Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, they're tough. They're tough. Alright, alright. I'll give them that. Uh, I am pretty weak, though, in terms of vigor. And uh, I still have the STD from... Uh, what's her name? So maybe I should get rid of that. Let's see, how much, how much uh, health does it actually take away? Let's see, let's use it. Nah, I want it. I want it. No, I don't need it. Let's see. Favor bestowed by a deathbed companion. Protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Nah, let's use it. We can, we can always get another one from here. It looks no different to me. Oh, I still have the, I still have the debuff, actually. So. We'll have to see when it wears off. Okay, there we can see it. Okay, so it barely it barely uh, gave us anything or took away anything. So I think I could have kept it. Ooh. Maybe I should get off to fight these guys. Yeah, that's the play.
Okay, this is gonna heal me a bunch. I don't know if this is hurting me or what. I think this is just a buff for other people. This might bring me back up to full HP. Okay, done, son. Okay, very nice. Glad we did that. And, uh... You know what? When I hear the elk cry, now, after playing Halo Infinite, that's what it reminds me of. That's crazy. I think there's guys here. Eh, I don't see them. Okay, we're going all the way up. Alright. Ah, yes, that's where the dude is. You see him? What is he doing, though? He's just chilling, looking up at Moog's palace, I guess? I don't know. But he's somebody that we can find later on. Can't currently get to him. This is kind of risky, but... Um, it was once said to me that you must risk it for the brisket. And although I don't care much for brisket, I am going to risk it. Alright. I don't think there's anything down there. But let me explore here first, because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be something here. I'm sure that there's got to be something here. They wouldn't let you walk here for nothing. Yeah. Oh, and it's a stone, stone, stone sword key, so it's actually a very important item. Very much worth the risk. But I don't think there's anything over here. See, but then why would they have the greenery going down? You know what I mean? This game is all about the signaling and all that, so... I think they must have something. No, no torrent. Okay. Ugh. He scared me. He scared me quite a bit. Quite a bit there. Alright, it's looking like... That was just uh, a bad decision all around. And it looks like we're going to die. Looks like uh, our doom is here. Yep, because Torrent doesn't know how to control himself. Uh, Alright, let's not... Let's not do this. Not today. I've only got 12 minutes left, so... Do I have enough to level up? How much do I even need? I should see. I need 9,500. Okay. And I have 7,800. So we're doing good. We'll get it for sure. I'm gonna activate this thing. Okay, and it will die. Lovely, lovely, love that. Love the silver fireflies. What's that? Uh, oh. I don't know how he saw me. But yeah, so uh, also in the trailer, you see a glimpse of somebody that's got long flowing blonde hair and is glowing. And I have a strong feeling that that's going to be Mikola. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just Mikola. Okay. So... Mikola is not dead, and uh, Miyazaki even said that Mikola is going to be like the central character in this whole thing, and we're going to be learning about America as well. So, so that's interesting. So we're going to be learning a little bit more about what her deal is, maybe why she's doing this. I did see, I think uh, the channel is called AGT Jake, and so he he makes a lot of like lore videos and stuff, and uh, he does a pretty good job, I think, because he he makes 
clear what is fact and what is opinion and so i like that and um he strongly believes that america is the one that devised this whole plan and actually that america worked with rani and uh radon so uh, he did provide some compelling information regarding that we do know that she is a newman and i believe it's like the newmans are the ones that know this this act to to um this ritual to use the black blade or infuse the black blades with the rune of death and then also well i, I think he said his theory is that she m manipulated her shadow what's there is evidence to that i mean uh what's his name the beast clergyman like he was fearsome you know no one could beat him so her argument is or his argument is like you know somebody somebody like had help or she she used him and made him weak maybe not made him weak but she gave somebody insider information to help them kind of you know trick him to steal the rune because he was uh yeah i don't know why? Why did? Why did let me uh, use my my summons here? Still, I don't know if I could believe. At least, I don't think I could believe that she would willingly sacrifice Godwin. But on the flip side, we haven't seen enough of Merica to really know how she was with her children. But we know that Radagon seemed to be a loving father, and we know that Radagon is Merica, so. There's a little something there, but still, maybe that's... Radagon was like, you know, a play, a, a character she was playing. And maybe the true, her true self didn't really care all that much. Which is possible. But yeah, that would be my only thing against his theory that I don't think she could. Although maybe, maybe it's like... Maybe he, she knew, but she had to know, right? Because she needed a shard bearer, and all of the shard bearers were her offspring. Ooh, ooh okay, buddy. What? Wait, you eating your own arm? No, nah, that's not allowed. in my town Ooh You beat me to it Okay He jumped over me Okay and Bim bam boom we're healed up right not not fully healed up but they're dead and now I can hit you. And oh, I can't. Okay. Got the rune, rune of gold. Oops. Oh, also, I uh, I had asked a question in the chat when I uh, when I was um, finding Godwin's body, or it never said that it was Godwin exactly. I guess it did. Yeah, Rogier did say that. That was that was the video where um, my audio was being saved. So none of y'all actually heard me, but I had said that in the chat. Oh. Ooh, we see the nascent butterflies. Nice. Oh, oh no. Ooh. Ooh. 
No, please don't kill me. Okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't sure how that worked because I assumed that um, there was like two bodies of uh, of Godwin. I didn't understand it fully. But it seems like the the body of Godwin that's underneath the capital is the real one, and uh, the one that's in in the Stormville Castle is just like an offshoot that's growing because, as the Prince of Death, um, Godwin's Godwin's like face starts growing and everything that has Death Blight. Which makes me wonder too, like, are we gonna see more of the outer gods? in this Shadow of the Earth tree. That would be interesting. I hope so. We did see that lion dude looks to be somebody associated with death. So before hearing about the the uh, the interview with Miyazaki, when I when I watched the trailer for the DLC, my thought was that like um in the same way that Merica has a shadow, then all, every all the other demigods have their own shadows. Um, because, well, th the thing is, not demigods don't necessarily have a shadow, but uh, Imperians do for sure. So I was thinking that might be what's going on there. Do I have anything for this guy? I don't think I have anything special. Yeah, I think we just just go in normal. Oof, that does so much damage. Oh, am I forgetting? Still got this. Oh! Let's see how much this does. Not enough, if I'm being honest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, very nice. Oh, no. Oh, I can't craft. Ooh, get away! Alright. Well, I was close to, uh, close to getting it there. I need a faster way to do this. Oops, I'm poisoned. It's alright, I'm ready for this. Assassin's approach will not help me here. I mean, I can spam this. It does not do enough.
There we go. Man, that took way too long. So I'm probably out of my league here. I'm probably not supposed to be here. It's okay. But yeah, the fact that uh, America does have another child makes me wonder, you know, like how many more children does she have? Because we only know as much as we're told, right? So... Nobody has said definitively, they, definitively that there's X amount of children of Maricon, America. And does he have a shard? I don't know. He's got snake eyes. See, here's the thing. I thought, uh, back to my theory, right, before I, I learned what was up. Um, I thought maybe each demigod would have their own respective beast form or, or shadow form. And then I thought that the one that we were seeing, this Mesmer the Impaler, I thought that he was actually um, Rykard's shadow form. Because he had the snake and, you know, he had the red hair. So. But still, we know nothing about this, this child. Um, we know that he knows who we are. In the sense that he knows that we are chosen for, um, whatchamacallit. We're chosen to be the Elden Lord. You know, and so he does make a comment about that in the, uh, in the video. But, uh, yeah, and we have no confirmation one way or another about the other. The lion dude, but I do believe he's going to be somebody important. That's my theory. Hmm, we're at the 30 minute mark already. Already. I think I should probably leave then. I don't know. My message was a praise. I don't even know what message that is. Fight me! I just love these giant weapons. It's so fun. I don't even know if it's a very entertaining way for people to watch. I mean, people people do hold the Unga Bunga playstyle in very low regard. Um, but it's just really fun for me. I, I love it. I don't know. I'll mix in a little bit of magic every now and then, you know? Oh, oh! That's, that's too much smoke. Okay, let's see if we can draw these guys out. Okay. Oh, shoot! No, please. I can heal. Ooh. Oh my, this heat. Come on, man. Torrent, I need the... The target, man. It's just not working. Ooh. Okay. Did this guy heal back? I swear I did more damage to him. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I can do this. Ooh. All right. Ooh. It's kind of not going so well here. But we did beat them. So I guess that's something. And now we can go head to uh, the next place. I don't care that you're getting buffed. 
makes no difference to me. Yep, you're done. Pretty much done. Nice, okay. I'm getting a couple of jawbone axes. I don't know if they're good. Okay, but I think I'll have to... I think I'm going to have to call it here. Yeah, I'm going to have to call it. Let me, let me head back. It's 8 o'clock now. But I can level up, so maybe I'll do that. And what shall I level up? Uh, let's do good old-fashioned vigor, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and with that, I'm going to call it here. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you have a nice day, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.